Good evening everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will not get into any technical analysis. I think it's very clear what has happened. We've broken um, the, the structure and uh, everything uh, seems very bearish from here. Uh, all the fundamentals don't uh, really look uh, great at the moment. And uh, yeah, uh, that's not the content for the video. Uh, we'll mainly go into the algorithms that have been improved and uh, the improvements that have been made, uh, why I did those, and I'll share the algorithms with, uh, with the group and uh, you guys can uh, continue on trading. Um, it's uh, it's good that we have a trend following system for scenarios like this because you get big movements. Now this um, um, this situation right here wasn't great because we got basically we bought the top and then had to um, short later on. So uh, all, all with all, uh, not a great day uh, uh, for the algorithm as well. But it should uh, recover um, as we go. So that's that's uh, completely fine. We made some uh, very, very important um, improvements in the algorithm. So this is what it looks uh, looked like in the video that we did last time. And I will link it again in the, in the description for those that haven't seen how we created the first algorithm. Uh, I noticed some very obvious mistakes, which, which I also discussed in the last video. Uh, the main mistake was that we took profit on positions that were not even opened. Um, so our take profit signal had to be improved uh, in the webhook alerts, and I've done that. While I was uh, doing all of that, I found out that, for example, agent uh, or row nine here doesn't have the percentage sign, which is a big mistake from my side. Uh, happens, but uh, I corrected it. So I put a percentage sign behind both of the uh, row nine uh, TP uh, agents. So now they do 0.5% instead of 0.5 uh, dollar, which will uh, help a lot. So the take profits have already improved uh, on that front, uh, but uh, I've uh, done some more improvements overall. Um, so let's take out the first uh, version, uh, which will be called uh, the, the 55 version. I just uh, made it simple, just put two numbers behind them. And um, I, uh, for both of them, I have the separated uh, alert messages. So you guys have to pick uh, between a slightly more bearish bias and a slightly more bullish bias. And uh, some uh, people in the Discord had the question, uh, what are the signals? Like, what does the B stand for? What does the S stand for? What does the TP and the add signal stand for? So let's just quickly zoom in to this chart. There is two main trends, which we call the trend changes. So either price is going up or price is going down. Uh, if we expect price to go up, we uh, signal a B, which is uh, bullish. And if we um, um, signal S or get an S signal, that means that we expect the price to go down. Okay. Within these two main trends, we have take profit scenarios, which means, okay, we have, we are bullish, but we're going to take profit on this long because we've topped out. Okay. We've reached the top. Okay, so a bullish take profit means sell, but a take profit on a sell, so when you're already short and you need to take profit, that means you need to buy back some of your short. Okay, so you have a take profit for the bull and you have a take profit for the bear, which both act differently. Then you also have add signals. So when you're short and you're adding, that means you're adding to your short, so you're selling more. But when you're uh, bullish, so when you're long and you're adding, let's find a scenario right here. When you're in a B, the main trend is a B, you get take profits. Well, you sell a little, you sell a little bit more. But when you get the add on a B signal, you add more. So you long more, you buy more contracts. Okay. So on, the, uh, on an S, add signal, we sell more. On a B, add signal, we buy more. On a B, take profit, we sell a little. On an S, take profit, we buy a little bit back what we sold. Okay. And this logic has, uh, I have improved that a little bit in the uh, current alert messages, because what we used to do is even if we didn't sell um, um, contracts right here, we would uh, we would still uh, take profit. So that that was, yeah, that was just a mistake in algorithm. So let's just have a quick look on how I have tried to improve this um, uh, logic. And as you guys can see, I've put the uh, new tables with the 55 behind it uh, in the um, in the bot and how you do that guys it's it's very simple you take out your bot folder and at the top you have the active table folder and here you replace your old uh, tables with the new ones which I will share in discord okay so you just replace them in the active tables then you can click uh, the start desk uh, desktop okay start test desktop and this will get you the following application here you want to go to the webhook start the webhook, but we're not going to get into that right now. What we want to do is create uh, or show you guys <clears throat> how I have improved those webhook messages. So we take out the webhook right here. And <clears throat> the way you can use this uh, to create your own signals 
is first of all you want to refresh the UI when you just launch it but you want to go all the way to the bottom and you have the signals here now I just created some signals so it's still uh, set to those so we just want to click reset quickly okay go back and refresh our data and now you can see that this menu is not showing any green or red lights meaning our template is empty so now we can go create our first template and for example, if we get a bear signal, so the letter S, if that flashes on the chart, the letter S, you can clearly see that we're then expecting more downside. Okay, so what would you do? You would start selling when the letter S appeared. Okay, and what, what else would you do? Well, anything that has to do with the letter B, we stop that. Okay, so the B take profit and the B itself or any B at that's still running, we stop that because the S is basically a trend change which means that now we're expecting lower prices from here. So anything before that, we need to stop it. So the way that I created the bear signal is by activating oh, activating the bear signal, okay, regardless of the position that we have. So whether we're, we are in a current long position, short position, or no position, we activate the bear table and then click on apply. And what we deactivate is anything that has to do with the bull. So we deactivate the bull apply it, we deactivate the bull add, apply it, and we deactivate the bull take profit. Okay, and now we want to close any position that was open from our last trade as well. Okay, so we, the new trend change, we want to start that with a fresh basically uh, position, so a zero position, and start trading from start. And we apply that and copy current. Now you can see that the template has been saved to here so you can see what your logic is you're going to activate the bear and deactivate anything with the bull and this you can copy then to your indicator in trading view which is this right here <clears throat> okay and you just paste it in this bull alert uh, or in this case the bear alert message okay so that's how i've created all of these uh, messages and i already pasted them in and then you can do save default and now they're saved in your indicator okay and um just to go back quickly to um the logic here because uh, the main thing that I've changed is what I've done is let's quickly open this one again uh, reset and refresh now you can see the template is empty again and the main thing that I've done here is uh, on a for example bull take profit so when we're taking profit on a long position we only do that when we indeed have a long position open. If we do not, if we have a short position or we have no position, we are not going to take profit. Okay, so that's the biggest change that I've done. And if we are indeed taking profit on a long position, then we will deactivate any adding that we were doing. Okay, so this is how it currently looked like. And before that, I had all of them uh, to deactivate and activate, which kind of messed up the algorithm. Okay, it's a small change, but it will have big impact on the way that the bot will be trading. Okay, all of these alert messages, I just created them and together with the agent table. So I will share them with you guys. So <clears throat> alert messages 55, they go paired with the uh, with agents uh, that have uh, 55, so uh, the 55 strategy, I will call it, okay? And then I have another uh, one with 66, so alert messages 66. Uh, they will be for uh, another, for a different strategy. The biggest difference between these two, which I will show you in here, is that um, here you can see that the bear uh, will do uh, like 75% to start with, and the bull will do 150 to start with. So every bull signal, you're trading bigger, bigger sizes than you're trading your bear signals. Okay, that's the biggest difference. So the 55 strategy has bigger amounts for the bull, smaller amounts for the bear, and the 66 strategy has um, smaller amounts for the bear and bigger amounts for the bull. Oh, this is the wrong one, sorry. All right, I still need to adjust those amounts. Uh, so I will finish that off and then uh, send it out to you guys. But um, that, that will be the main difference uh, between these two. Uh, oh, I have it here, sorry. It was open on the other page, I did finish it. Um, so here you can see that the bear has um, bigger amounts and the bull has smaller amount for 66 and for 55, it's the other way around where the bull has the bigger amount and the bear has the smaller amount. Okay, so make your pick, it, it's not a huge difference. And uh, if you guys are able to um, 
join the Discord and run your bot in one of the live trading channels. If you want, you can do it only for subscribers. If you want, you can do it for the public. Um, uh, but if you have a computer that you don't use, uh, it, it would be useful to just join one of the um, uh, channels and have your bot trade live uh, because this way I can track um, the difference between the two uh, strategies. I will pick one myself, but I hope uh, some of you pick a different one. So uh, I personally will go with 55. So it's the slightly more bullishly biased. Uh, I'm sure some of you are slightly more bearish biased, uh, rightfully so. So I will let you guys uh, pick the 66. Um, so when you run that, make sure you um, copy over the right alert messages into your uh, trading view. And when you do that, guys, you want to start a new 15 minute or whatever strategy time frame you're going to pick. But uh, mostly we pick the 15 minute. And uh, on this one, you want to create everything, put the right messages in and then create your alert. OK, because if you're going to change time frames while you already created your alert, your alert will be set on that. Uh, previous time frame. Okay, so just do everything um, uh, carefully. And um, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me. I will be sharing the strategies right now in the Discord. Um, for the seniors, I have another strategy running, which uh, the descriptions for, for that will be given to you later today. And um, yeah, we'll share that with the public also um, as we go. Um, yeah, th that was it for, the, uh, for today, guys. I'll speak to you guys in the chat and uh, join our Discord if you haven't. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.